A moderate earthquake struck Southern California around 11.42 Tuesday morning, the strongest one in more than a decade. And we originally, you know, kind of like laughing earthquake, then we look up and the top part of the building was literally going back and forth, you know, pretty scary. Mitch Politi and his friends ran for cover as part of this brick building fell down in Pomona. And next thing you know, right behind me, I didn't see it. You could hear it go real loud, a big, big, you know, crushing. Pomona City Hall shut down after the 5.4 Templar shook an area from Los Angeles to San Diego, the epicenter near the town of Chino Hills, 29 miles southeast of L.A. We thought it was worse than it was because we've had earthquakes before. And, um, it felt bad, and so we figured it was worse than it was, not realizing we were right on top of it. And I saw the, um, the street was kind of like waving, you know, and that's um, it's, uh, amazing how um, you know, powerful the um, earthquake. The shock waves lasted around a minute. Grocery stores felt the jolt, so did the skin care store. Lotion littered the floor. It shut down this outpatient clinic in the town of Brea. Several people were injured inside. We were in the Los Angeles City Hall at the time. It caused the chandeliers to shake in the city council chambers. No, but yes. uh, he, Real quick, we can continue. If you, uh, if you feel yes. in danger, you see things begin to break loose or whatever, get underneath those, those desks right away. Sending officials into crisis mode. We were in a council debate in city council. The uh, floor rocked real good. Overall, only minor damage because of the quake, but it rattled nerves. When you hear things crushing behind you and you look behind and all of a sudden everything's falling down, you know, you think it's the big one. Seismologists consider this a wake-up call and a drill for the big one, whenever that happens. John Moan, the Associated Press, Los Angeles.